finally, we have a comprehensive guide on how to attach a bike trailer to a through axle bike. Now, this is one of the most notoriously and, and confusing things to get right when you get a bike trailer is that you have a, a disc brake through axle bike and you just are dreading the fact that you might have to get an attachment or an adapter just to attach your bike trailer to your bike. I know I've been there, I have disc brakes. <laughs> and this guide, this video is gonna be everything you need to know about how to attach any bike trailer to a through axle disc brake bike. And I'm gonna be covering specific bike trailers for instep, Schwinn bike trailers, Thule bike trailers, and Burley bike trailers, all the major bike trailer brands in this video. But before we get started, just wanna say welcome everybody. This is the channel where we talk about how to make biking part of your daily life and how to just save money, save the world, save your health, and save everyone from this, <laughs> the horrible car commutes and, and destructive nature of driving <laughs> culture that we live in through the form of biking and make biking part of your daily life. So if you really wanna save money and save your life uh, like I have uh, along the way, then be sure to give this a thumbs up to this video if it's helpful, just so more people can find it and it really helps us out, right? Okay, so let's get started. So I have attached many different bike trailer brands to many different types of bikes and by far disc brakes are the most complicated and the primary reason for that is that bike trailer the bike trailer industry designed their bike trailers for quick release bikes not with disc brakes and through axles in mind because those weren't really popular into the until the early 2000s on bikes so the common issue that you're going to come across if you have a bike trailer and a through axle disc brake bike is that the coupler attachment that came with your bike trailer is not gonna fit the through axle uh, of your bike. If you have a through axle of at least 12 millimeters in diameter, which you most likely do, that's the most common one, it's just not gonna fit no matter how hard you try for a lot of the bike trailers. So this is everything you need to know about the different bike trailer brands and also where you can get the right adapter, through axle adapter for your bike. I'm gonna put a very help, I'm gonna do you solid guys. I'm going to put a very helpful table down below in the description, uh, a link with everything you need to know about the different types of, of through axles, how to measure your through axle and buy the right one online. I'm just going to put the link down below and you can check that out. It's totally free and it's a guide that I put together just for you guys, right? All right, so let's start with the Schwinn and Instep bike trailers. Schwinn and Instep are under the same company, so they use the exact same attachment system. If you have a bike trailer that is a Schwinn bike trailer that's before 2016 then your coupler is gonna look like this guy here all right and if you have this coupler then you'll know by now that the through axle does not fit through that hole and that's why Schwinn and Instep have upgraded their coupler system to a new one which is a bold move on their part and I'm so grateful and glad that they did because it really helps us out this coupler is actually going to fit a through axle of 12 millimeters right through it, which is fantastic. And you actually, if you have an instep or um, Schwinn bike trailer, then you most likely don't need to go out and get an adapter for that. You can just fit that right onto your bike, bike and you are in business. Now let's move on to Thule. Yes, it's pronounced Thule, not fuel. <laughs> All right, so the Thule bike trailer is the, one of the most complicated out of Burley and Thule, it's, it's probably the most incompatible. If you try to fit this through the coupler system, it just doesn't fit. The tiny, it's a tiny hole. I really wish they would upgrade their, their coupler, but it's what we have, all right? But Thule bike trailers are fantastic. They are the top of the line. They are the high, high end best of the best out there. So if you have a through axle, you actually absolutely do need to get an adapter. This is a through axle adapter by Thule, all right? I'm gonna put a link down below to that you can get the ex you can figure out the exact size through axle that you need and also the link to get that through axle and it's all going to be in the in the guide that I made which I'm going to link down below but in order to get the right through axle adapter you have to measure it properly and you have to know exactly which one to get which is complicated you can't just go out and get any through axle that you find on Amazon. It's not gonna work because there are different sizes, there are different thread pitches, etc. And I'm gonna explain all of that at the end of this video. So stick around just after this. If you have a burly bike trailer, um, this is something that is kind of a hit or miss. You can just, I would really, really recommend just getting, just trying it, just get the bike trailer you want, the burly bike trailer, and try to attach it to your bike. 
for me, I didn't need to get any adapters. It just worked right through the, my through axle worked just fine through the Burley, Burley's um, coupler system. The attachment, it just went right through the hole and I just attached it to my bike, no problem there. But according to Burley, many people will need to get a through axle adapter. And if that's the case, then also check out the guide down below. That's, that's really where you need to go is check out the guide, I have links and everything that you need to know about where to get your through axle, all right? But just saying, if you have a, a, uh, a Burley bike trailer, it might work without an ad adapter, but it might not work. So you'll just have to try, try it and figure it out and then go to the guide and, and see if it works, all right? So with that said, the next question is, how do I measure you, my through axle and actually figure out if I get the right one? I have actually personally gotten the wrong one before and it actually destroys your your uh, axle on your bike uh, if you get the wrong thread pitch, okay? So there are three things that you need to measure, uh, three measurements that you need to know before you buy your through axle adapter. The first one is the length. From here to here, from the head of the through axle skewer, I guess this is a skewer, it's a through axle, and then to the very end, the measurement from there to there, and that is in millimeters. And actually, look, you can actually see, if you take out the through axle there, you might be able to see that all of the, all of the information here so that's the first one is that the measurement of of from here to here in millimeters the second thing that you need to measure is the diameter of the through axle most through axles are 12 millimeters some are larger at 15 millimeters uh, but most likely you have a 12 millimeter and you can probably look just right there as well and then the last thing the third thing that you need to know before you buy a, an adapter is the thread pitch so the thread pitch is the distance between each tiny little thread here and some of them are there's basically three or four or something different thread pitches this one is 1.5 millimeter um, and all of this information you'll either find it right on your through axle there or you can measure it yourself and or you can check your user manual uh, for your bike and the fastest and easiest way to actually measure your through axle is to check out a cool little tool on a website called robertaxleproject.com. They have a nice little tool there. You can just input your bike and, and all the specifications for your bike and then it'll just pop out uh, the, the details about the size of through axle that you need. And you can actually purchase it right there or you can use different links that I provided uh, in the description below. Um, yeah, but do check out that guide. That's everything that that is available there's really not much information about through axles on the internet and a lot of the bike trailer manufacturers are doing their very best to keep up with the times the problem is the bike industry is keeps evolving it keeps changing i think they're having a hard time keeping up with everything um, so do check out that link below if this video is helpful by the way just give it a thumbs up so that more people can find it and youtube can do its thing to to check it out and also subscribe to this this channel because I'm going to be putting more and more videos about how to make biking part of your daily life so that you can save money and save your health and just we can start saving this planet and uh, just making biking the common norm uh, in our culture so if that's you then this is the place for you guys all right take care thanks for watching